Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sora Oluwale and this is Sarah is Typing. So, so originally, I'm not gonna lie, it was supposed to be five songs, but I couldn't whittle it down. But these are seven songs that you need to carry in your backpack to 2021. Seven gospel hits. Like, I didn't only discover them this year. But these songs, these songs, these songs, how many times did I say it? These songs, they're made for prayer. They're made for worship. No, these songs, yeah, they're just... So I'm going to get right into it. I'm not going to waste time. But obviously, I just wanted to say, if you haven't already, I just think you should subscribe. Because you know what I mean? If you're going to watch the video, you might as well subscribe. But yeah, let's go. Okay, so coming in at number seven is... One of my favourites. Sometimes the simplicity in some of these gospel songs are so like, it's like it's handcrafted by God. It's like, I don't even need to say too much. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Our God. Hear the instruments. Can you hear the instruments?
just something else. Like, every time I hear it, I just get so pumped. I'm like, I'm waiting for it to start, and it's just, I'm getting this vibes. It makes you want to speak in the spirit. It makes you just want to, like, talk to God. It's like, mm. are you ready? Are you ready? Because I'm ready. <laughs> song I can't lie I was in bed it was probably like 2 a.m. in the morning and I heard it I burst into tears as in I was crying I was I, you know not a pretty cry as in <laughs> like I was in tears as in I was touched I was touched so This song is just a reminder to everybody who has struggled throughout 2020 and who has made it thus far and who will cross over into 2021 and manifest all the goals that they've aimed towards, all the plans that God has for them. I'm sorry, but this is the song for you. There's a reason we are still standing here in two we're still standing here in December. There's a reason. I sorry, I'm just gonna get into it. I, I don't even want to talk too much, but like this is our life. I'm not gonna talk too much. I'm not gonna talk to my I'm gonna let you guys listen. The great plans. Come on. God knows the plans he has for me. God knows the thoughts he thinks for me. And nothing is an accident. I'm alive because there's more.
sometimes when you feel like your journey is ended and you feel like everything that you've worked towards, everything that you've aimed for, you haven't achieved, or even everything that you've wanted, you haven't achieved. I feel like God is always saying that there is more for you and we can't see what God sees. We can't see that the ceiling that we're aiming for is higher than we could ever imagine. So whenever you feel like you have reached the end and you have reached the limit, God is it telling you that there is no limit to your ability to what you can do, especially in his name. You're alive for a reason. You're alive because you're supposed to. And you are alive because God wants you here, because God has a plan for you. So as we really conclude this year, I just want everybody uh, just to take a moment just to thank God and really discover what God has planned for you because there's a reason He has preserved you thus far. Like you're not an accident, you're not a mistake, you weren't it, it wasn't so fluke. You are here for a reason and don't waste time wallowing in pity and wallowing in that pain because I get there's so many people that are going through so much pain right now and they've been going through pain don't let that pain limit you and stop you from achieving what God has planned for you from what God is pushing for you I'm sorry guys I got a bit emotional I got a bit passionate I think you guys could hear my tone of voice but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I did. Like, I'm craving for a worship night or just a moment just to worship with people. But yeah, I just feel like sometimes you just need to take a moment to defrost and to worship and to talk to God. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys will be listening to these tracks in 2021 because I know I will. If you have any um, gospel suggestions, because I love a good gospel song, if you have any gospel suggestions that you want me to listen to, put them in the comment section below. And yeah, obviously like, subscribe and comment and share this because if you don't share this, how are people gonna see? And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.